Only on two tonight, abuse behind bars. A woman says a guard forced her to have sex while she was an inmate in the federal detention center in downtown Houston. Now, those accusations have turned into a lawsuit. That former inmate is talking about her legal action with Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum. Joel? If you've spent any time downtown, Dominique, you've certainly seen this building. It's essentially a big prison that holds up to 1,200 federal inmates. That's men and women who are supposed to be kept separated to avoid trouble. But what if the trouble comes from a guard? The way this 29-year-old woman tells it. It's pretty clear you think they got a big problem at that detention center downtown. There's only one guard. And he has his run of the place. It, his run of the place. Four days before her release on a five-year sentence for forgery. This woman says in a lawsuit just filed in Houston Federal Court that in November 2015, that lone guard, after lights out, came into her cell and raped her. From the lawsuit, quote, he coerced her to perform sex. He was also sexually involved with several other female inmates. This is a federal employee. Yes. Assaulted you in your cell? Yes. Forced you to have sex with him? Forced me, threw me down and forced me. 52-year-old Samuel Hawkins of Houston, no longer a guard, was convicted of having sex with an inmate. Again from the lawsuit, Hawkins was positively identified through DNA testing. He could have gotten 15 years in prison, but instead, the judge gave him five months. Now he's not even in prison anymore, and I'm still sitting here dealing with the pain and the hurt and dysfunction from what he did to me. We're not revealing that 29-year-old woman's identity because she is the victim of a sexual crime. She's asking for $10 million in her lawsuit. We called the Bureau of Prisons for their take. No call back yet. We're live downtown. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.